Hey everybody, uh, this is Kevin with The Basement Games. I just wanted to do a quick live stream video uh, about an occasion that happened yesterday to me. Um, and just a reminder of if it's too good to be true, it's usually fake. So I saw a guy posting um, all this uh, beautiful, beautiful pieces of power right here. So there's this time twister right here, right? Uh, absolutely gorgeous. He's got a back of it too. You know, look at that, isn't that nice? And he's got a starting bid of $750 and a buy it now price of 2,500, which is incredibly good pricing, uh, either way you look at it, right? But there's some things to be aware of. So if you get to see the rest of eBay, you'll see, what's this? A brand new seller with zero feedback. Not necessarily the end of the world, there's a lot of new sellers coming to eBay and they're coming across cards and they wanna sell them, but I found it very interesting that this guy had no feedback, was brand new here. So I wanted to look at some other things that were important to me and are, should be important to you when, when trying to make large purchases like this. So I went to the seller's actual information and I looked at other items they have for sale. So as you can see, he also happens to have an unlimited uh, Lotus, okay, at an incredible price, right? Uh, he also happens to have a Damnation. Oh, what do you know? All of the Power 9, or all the Moxes at least. So all these Moxes in one sale. And I started noticing some things about this particular seller. One, all of the background pictures were different. So here's one on a keyboard. Here's one on some wooden area. So there's the one on the keyboard, by the way. Uh, the wooden area. This one's on a carpet. This one's on, I think that's the same wooden area. And then this one's on what looks to be a bed of some sort. Um, and if we went even further than that, I'm sure we'd see additional backgrounds. I guess that's it. So, so things really started ringing for me alarm bells wise. One, different backgrounds. Most people, when they shoot, they shoot on very similar backgrounds and they shoot all at the same time, especially when the items are gonna be uh, ending at the same time. So this one ends around the same time as this, this one ends around the same time as this, and yet he shot them at, supposedly shot them at on different surfaces. Not, not exactly saying that it's fake, but it is saying it has the potential to be something you should call out, right? So we're looking at, to recap, we're looking at a zero feedback rating, brand new seller, member as of April 24th, uh, cards that are very, very high dollar cards, and this appears to be it. And the weird thing is the only thing that really sets it apart is this one damnation and everything else here is maybe, maybe the Diamond Valley, which is also a $300 card. But everything else here is $1,000 cards. You just don't run across these without some story. Why are these cards by themselves? Why are they all shot on different backgrounds? Why are you only including two shots of them? If you really understand the market in these types of cards, you would show 10 different angles of all the scratch lines and everything so people could feel more confident about it, right? So this all really caught me off guard, but I wanted to ask about it and see what the story is because every once in a while, you get one of those crazy stories and it turns out that because nobody else believed it, you end up buying a... Uh, a time walk for 800 bucks. Now, you may be thinking, just buy the damn thing. eBay will repay it, even if it turns out to be fake. True. However, the money you would lock up in the meantime between A, does it get shipped? B, if it gets shipped, can you open it on camera to make sure they didn't just put a pack of cigarettes in there, which is apparently what happened to somebody off TCG less than a week ago when they thought they were buying a, a Black Lotus. Yeah, look it up. And see how long will it take them to respond? Will they give you a hard time if they ask you to return the item and then you return the item and then they claim you didn't return the item? And this can go on for weeks to months. I have a Mox Diamond that I purchased a month and 10 days ago, so over 50 days ago, excuse me. I am still waiting for it. I have opened two cases on it. He has uploaded another tracking that apparently is coming, so trust me, I will be opening that on camera. My point is, it's not as clear cut and easy as just give me the money back because you give me fake product or bad product. Sometimes you lock that money up and that's money you could be spent using, buying other things or, or paying bills or whatever, that's your money. So it should not be uh, in escrow for a month plus. 
So just be aware of that. Sometimes there really is a risk, a, a, a calculation you gotta make. So I wanna just kind of, for those that are still watching, I wanna basically say, uh, or show what happened when I had a conversation with this guy, because this story goes on. As you can tell, if you're looking, uh, his name is Niodro, and it goes up some 15 messages, okay? So I'm just gonna do some highlights. I asked him, could he show me a picture of the card with his name on it, uh, like, a, like a piece of paper next to it, to authenticate that he had the card in his possession. So he sends me this. And what do you know? Him being a cool guy that he is, he shows me a picture of the card on this background. Uh, there's his name, and there's the, uh, the cool, cool sign that kids, cool kids do. Um, so that gave me some indication, okay, he does have the card. Then I asked, well, what's the story here? How do you run across these cards? Um, are you a collector? Or have you been playing for a long time? Why did this happen? And I don't remember exactly which email this was, but he basically said it was, of course, it always is. It was an uncle's collection. And, and uh, so I asked, well, why does the uncle only have five or six cards? And of course, some of the most expensive cards ever created. And he didn't really have an answer for that. So then I said, let's see if you could do a light test for me. And a light test would be something that would give me a little more validation that this is a real card and not a collection of fakes he got off of wish.com. And I got to deal with all this shit. So, um, yeah, so he said his uncle passed away. Uh, this is the, the email right here. I promise you, my friend, they're real, okay? So he's really trying to get me on this whole thing. And he sends me this picture and uh, I believe there was a second picture. Oh, he just sends me these two pictures, which are basically the same exact thing up close. Nothing from the back. So then I said, well, let's see if we could do the light test, okay? The light test would give me, if you don't have a scale, you know, 0 0.06 ounces, uh, to weigh cards, can you do a light test? Can you give me something? I don't want you bending it, obviously. So show me a light test. So he shows me this. This is a man who's trying to obfuscate. This is a man who's trying to purposely, because I told him how to do the light test. I said, please use a pinpoint flashlight from behind the card so we could see the magic wording on the front, right? This guy is purposely trying to pull one on me. It's very, very obvious. And if I were somebody who didn't know cards that well, I would possibly be, be uh, fooled by this, okay? Um, obviously, he's trying to use an entire lamp to block out all the light, not like what I told him to do in the instructions at all, and he's trying to, to show me whatever. So then I asked him yet a second time, could you please do a proper light test with the flashlight from behind so we could take a look at what the words look like. It's not a, a absolute, but it is one of the many uh, uh, ways to test that would give me more validation that the card is a, an actual card, not a proxy. So uh, after that message, he sent me this. Uh, I apologize, that's the wrong one. The very next message is, look at this. Oh my God, dude, I'm so sorry. I did that flashlight trick with the card and it didn't work. These are fake. Thank God no one bought any. I'm sorry, my man, for wasting your time. I didn't know I tested some out with a tear test. He claims he tested them with a tear test. And had someone check some out, uh, the major cards are fake. I'm gonna take the other post down. Thank you for showing me this trick again. I'm sorry, waste your time. It wasn't intentional at all, I promise. This guy goes from everything he knows to be right and that these are legit and please buy what I'm selling, my man, to this is all bullshit and I'm going to take these down. By the way, this was mentioned, what time is this? Uh, April 25th, which was yesterday at 7.30 p.m. It is now 5.30 p.m. the next day and as you just saw at the beginning of this video, all these posts are still up. Okay. So I guess the point I'm trying to make to you guys is this is a scam. This guy knows they're a scam. These are likely wish.com cards, which is why I fucking hate wish.com cards because they're slowly getting better over time. They're harder to detect. And to the average person who's not, doesn't do this for a living like I do, you would have probably gotten Rogered for 2,500 bucks easily. And you wouldn't have known the difference, you know? So just be aware that people are trying to take advantage of others and because we have less support staff on eBay and TCG and other places, it's harder and harder to actually get you your money back when they do try to fuck you over. So 
Just take my word on it, guys. Buy from reputable sellers. Do your due diligence. Check the things out. And if things seem to be too good to be true, I'm sorry to say it, guys. It is. All right, that's all for now. Stay smart, stay happy, and uh, I'll come back to you some more later. Bye-bye now.